In your web browser, head to suno.com and create an account with either your Discord, Google, or Microsoft account. You can also upload your own audio clip and create songs out of it, which is something that I'll show later on in the video. To create a song from scratch using the new model, navigate to the Create tab. You want to make sure that you've selected version 4. At the top, next to the Upload Audio button, click the toggle and you can cycle between version 3.5, which is the previous version, and version 4. In the Lyric Prompt box, you can still add your own lyrics. But if you're looking for Suno to generate lyrics, some of the options have changed. Previously, you only had the Surprise Me option, which you would just click a button and then it would just auto-generate for you. But it didn't provide much customization. Now the default option is to write with Suno. This is a clickable button where you can now give some direction on what kind of lyrics you want Suno to generate. You can specify a theme or a particular topic. And of course, you still have the Surprise Me button if you want to use it, but right next to it, there's now a new lyric model that you can select, which Suno claims is its most creative model yet. Once you've provided some direction and you've selected the lyric model, all you have to do is click on Write Lyrics. The style of music hasn't changed. It functions the same way as the previous version. All that has to be done now is just simply to click the Create button as usual. To create an instrumental, it's as easy as just typing in the vibe that you want to create and making sure the instrumental toggle is on. Suno will create two versions and name them. Right from this cue, there's a number of options. You can extend the song right away by clicking the Extend button. If you wanted to publish the song and make it public for any of the users to search and listen to, you would click that toggle. And then clicking the three dots, you can edit details. So this would be the ability to change the song title that Suno had generated and the cover. You could add it to a playlist. You could go to Song Radio. Song Radio is Suno's version of using your song to continuously create a playlist and stream other songs that users have created that have sounded similar. It works very much in the same way that Spotify or Apple Music does when you want to create a song radio off of a song that you like. And then if you wanted to download it, you get a number of audio formats plus a video format. Now let me show you how to upload an audio clip. Click on the Create button. You want to make sure the custom toggle is on. We're going to click on Upload Audio. You do get an option to record audio live, but I have a file that I'm going to upload. So I'm going to click on My Device, click Upload File. Suno will do its thing. It'll generate an image and then click Continue. With the song uploaded, click the Extend button. You'll see it'll be put down at the bottom of the screen. So it's there to, to tweak. Either write in what you want the song to be about. In the style of music, I'm going to type in Pop. And then you want to name your song. Under the Extend From, this can be approached one of two ways. If you want Suno to start from the very beginning and interpret your voice, you would just change this number to start at one second. The reason why it defaulted to 53 is because that's how long my acapella clip is. And if you wanted Suno to start at the end of the clip, so it's a continuation of your original recording, you would then leave it at the default. And then click Extend. To get the cover song, what you should do is click the three buttons, Highlight Create, and then now there's a Cover Song button, which is in beta for Pro and Premiere users. Click on it, and Suno will add it to the Song Creation column on the left. You have the lyrics. All that has to be done now is to change the genre of music, and then update the title if necessary, and click Create. To create a persona, click the three dots next to the song, hover over Create, and you'll see a Make Persona button, which is available to Pro and Premiere subscribers. Click on it. You can name the persona. You can upload a custom image or just type in what you want Suno to create as the album art. You can add in a description. It defaults to allowing the persona to be public, but if that's not something you want to do, turn it off. Click the Save button. Here's how to use your newly created persona in a song. If you scroll down, there's now a Persona section. And if you click on the triangle, now I've created a number of personas that I've experimenting with, so for you, you would only see the one that you've just created. But if you select it, it now automatically inputs the style of the music, and all you have to do is just go ahead and click Create. Let me show you how to remaster and upscale your existing songs. In your library, find the song that you want to upscale, click the three dots, hover over Create, and you're going to see a remaster option. Click on that. Suno will start doing its thing. It'll start upscaling the song with the version 4 model, and it'll automatically add it to your library. To do this, click on the three dots, and then scroll down to Edit. 
you'll now see an option Crop Song. Click on that and Suno brings you to a new screen. You can click anywhere to start the song and you'll notice there is a gray horizontal bar. And as soon as you pull and drag away from the gray vertical bar, you're now presented with two red vertical bars, which you can move around. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna drag this entire song. It's a little bit confusing because what you're expanding in red is actually what Suno is gonna keep. And everything else that's not included in this red highlighted area is what Suno will crop out. Within the red highlighted area, you can click anywhere and you'll summon the gray vertical bar back and you can take it and you can drag it anywhere you want to act as a guide on where you want the song to start. You have to go all the way to the far left and click on the big crop song button in order for Suno to crop the song. First, navigate to a song in your library that you want to change. Click the three dots, hover over edit. There is now a replace section option. After clicking on it, Suno will bring you to a new screen where you can make your edits. There's a gray vertical line that you can click on, and if you pull away from it, you'll notice that all of the lyrics within the red section on the left will start to populate. I'm gonna add some words to the lyrics. Suno recommends expanding the red section by a few seconds on each side, even if you don't plan on editing the lyrics in those areas. This gives Suno more room to work with when it attempts to replace the section of the song that you want. There's a toggle called Make the Same Length as Section. I'm gonna explain later why you might wanna turn this off, but for now I'm gonna leave it on, which is the default setting. Click Recreate Section. And another box will pop up asking you to confirm. If you need to make further adjustments and you wanna add more of a buffer in the creation, you can do this here in the screen. Just simply grab where the cursor starts and you can pull it back as much as you need to. For this one, I'm gonna just make this adjustment accordingly. When ready, click Confirm. Suno will generate two versions for you to preview. Just keep in mind, these versions are not the full song. It's only the part that you've chosen to replace. When you're satisfied, click the Select button, and Suno will create the full song with that replaced part and add it to your library. Earlier, I mentioned the Make the Same Length as Selection toggle. You would keep this toggle on if you wanted to recreate part of the song to be the same length as the section that you highlighted in red. Turning it off allows Suno to have more creative control to make the section either longer or shorter. By turning off the toggle right off the bat, I can see Suno has increased these guitar solos to be one minute in length each. Exclude Styles gives you more control over your song creation by giving you the ability to exclude specific instruments, genres of music, or vocals. To do this, you need to be in the Create section of Suno. The style of music is already set up, but you'll notice there's now an Exclude Styles toggle. Click on it and it opens up a hidden prompt box. We can now enter what we don't want to end up in the song. I'm gonna list female vocalist, the guitar, traditional folk genre. All that has to be done now is click create. You'll notice for songs that have items excluded using exclude styles, there is a minus symbol next to whatever it is that you would specify being removed from the new creation. Sticking with the free plan gives you the ability to create songs for personal use. But the real power is unlocked when you subscribe to one of their paid plans. By being a paying subscriber, this provides you with commercial use rights so you can monetize your songs and upload them to streaming services. If you got value out of this video, consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss when new content goes live. And if you're looking to learn more about getting creative with AI tools, I have content popping up that you can click on right here.